Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Feth. And today I'm going to be showing you lost and found edges. And my tea. Now, a lost and found edge is usually done with wet mediums. So I'm going to show you with uh, the Neo colors, with watercolor, and with ink tints. So, it looks like this. What is a lost and found edge? I'm going to show you. So let's zoom in a little bit. We'll do our best here. All right. So you need water. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it's 5 a.m. I haven't been to sleep yet. So things might get interesting. We need water. And some Neo color. And you drop it down. It will not go beyond the edge of your water. Do you see that? <clears throat> and that is the found edge. That's the edge where the paint just stops. This is your lost edge. It just slowly fades out to nothing. Lost and found. Now let's try that with watercolors. I'm going to wet my watercolor, my ultramarine, in fact. Let that sit for a second. We will wet the paper. This is normal watercolor paper, by the way. Get a little bit of paint. It doesn't take much. Boom. You can tip your page so it goes right up to the edge. It will not go past. Found and lost. And there's one other example I can give you. With the ink tents. Scrape a little bit of ink tents on here. Wet the paper. And why is this important? What good does it do you when you're doing backgrounds and you want it to go only in one specific area? Lost and found is very, very helpful. And another thing is you can get texture. Depending on when you put it, uh, how wet it is will determine how much you have and your medium. That's something to play around with and find out what works for you and what effect you're going after. So anyway, that is a lost and found edge. Thank you very much for watching.
I'll see you in the next video. Bye.